On Thursday, the Health and Wellness Ministry held a virtual launch for its physical activity page and workplace wellness manual. Portfolio Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton and State Minister Juliet Cuthbert Flynn were in attendance. One of the silent killers of the modern age is a sedentary lifestyle. Whether long hours sitting at a desk or lounging on a couch in front of the television, the result is the same. This lack of physical activity can lead to the development of lifestyle diseases such as obesity, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. Speaking at the launch, advised on non-communicable diseases and mental health to the Pan American Health Organization, Dr. Michelle Harris cited some troubling statistics. The Jamaica Health and Lifestyle Survey that was conducted in 2017 reported that 82% of the Jamaican population had low levels of physical activity. 16% engaged in moderate levels of physical activity and just 2% were engaged in what we could refer to as high levels of physical activity. Whereas one in two persons, that is 54% of the population were considered to be overweight or obese. Director of Health Promotion and Education in the Ministry, Takis Foga, explained the goal of the physical activity page and workplace wellness manual. So what is the goal of workplace wellness? The goal is to create an environment that supports healthy lifestyle practices. Why, why would we invest in our workplace wellness? Well, for the employer, you're looking at reduced absenteeism. We're looking at reduced healthcare costs. We're looking at higher staff morale. We're looking at the way in which we can recruit more employees and retain them. In terms of the employees now, we're talking about improved health, greater job satisfaction, and of course, learning more about healthy lifestyle. In terms of an overall program, there are just a few things I want us to understand how we can get things going. To get started, you must have buying from management. You then establish a committee and then you do various types of assessments because ultimately you want employees' interest and their needs to be met. Health and Wellness Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton welcomed the Corporate Wellness Manual. Life challenges us in all aspects and we, if we're not careful, get so caught up in doing what we think is expected of us or what is expected of us in terms of work, commitments of one form or another, that we forget to take care of ourselves and we measure success based on those achievements rather than our state of mind or physical uh, state. And uh, oftentimes we meet our demise, uh, achieving other levels of success, but ignoring ourselves. So the, the wellness agenda and the physical activity agenda, as you have said and others, is essential to allowing us to live a wholesome life. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Carol Francis.